Hey, thank you so much for watching. I'm Pippi Peterson. You can connect in with me on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, as well as my website at pippinings.com, where you get your Righty Road t-shirt. So I am trying to hit the road in like a week or less. And one of my last uh, things that I need to kind of sort out is I need to figure out where Chase is gonna sit. And I want him to be up in front, you know, front and center. I don't wanna like keep him in the back. And this, but I also want him to be able to lay down and I've got a seat belt for him. I got like this kind of heavy duty seat belt. And uh, so that'll keep him in there. Uh, so I was trying to sort out like, you know, wouldn't that be great if like this chair, here we are, if this chair could go all the way forward, but it doesn't. And there's a bunch of space up here where he can hang out. So I, I was looking at this and I was like, hey, if I get just like a board, you know, and keep in mind, this is like, I'm trying to think as fast as possible. What can I do really quick? If I get a board, I can, uh, you know, lay the whole board here and then have part of it just hang, you know, sitting here like, you know, as it's support. And then that side just wouldn't have support. And then after that, I can put, I've got like all this extra foam from uh, from my bed. I actually had uh, like one of these foam things. It was for a bed size one smaller than mine. So uh, now that I have the right size, I've got extra foam and it'll be perfect to fill in that spot. So that is what I'm going to hopefully do. So if I measure into that little cubby out here, I'm seeing it is about 30. I'm going to do it about 33 to like really push against here. And then up here, measuring with hands and feet while recording so I'll do about 29 so 33 and 29 it's gonna look like the gosh is it the state of Utah where it's like you know bigger up here and then smaller over here I picked up this board from Home Depot and I got my little cuts here we got a uh, 29 up to the line up there 33 and nine and a half so let's cut this and see how it works Here goes my little state of Utah dog board. Ready row, dog bed. And I've got some stuff to put under here to hold it up. So I'm just gonna fill that with foam and get his bed ready. All right, just as I was thinking about how I'm gonna kind of, you know, clamp this on a little bit here to add extra support up here, just cause that far side is not supported. I was like, hey, I've got this old dog thing right here, and it actually fits uh, the, the main, uh, you know, straps that run through it, and then you got these side straps. So I can just put this under, I'll put my foam up here, and then use some sort of fabric, and this will be like kind of permanently part of it, and I can run it underneath. So these, this stuff won't be here. I'll run it underneath, and uh, it should be uh, able to be tightened up and ready to go. I got the foam laid on the wood. I'm just gonna try to cut this with scissors. That's pretty good. It's kind of nice to over uh, overextend the ones as they go up, so that when I wrap these with some sort of upholstery or fabric, it'll bring it down to kind of make that a nice curve. This looks like a classic case of Princess and the Pea. We'll see what he thinks of it. This is the whole charade upside down, and I've got this sheet stuff below it. I'm going to tackle this guy and uh, bring this up, and I'll get my staple gun and try to staple this in place. So I want to put a little bit of pressure on this so that, so that it's kind of more dense. So I decided to go to Joanne and I got some denim, which kind of matches the loungy space. So if I'm gonna have like multiple kind of weird things in here, may as well have a match. Here I've got my straps, which will go below. And 
Uh, I, I miscalculated when I was asking for fabric, and so I'm just gonna have to tuck these edges once I get it on. But it's stapled, you know, over here. So it should be fine. Now all that's left is to go try it out. Well, I have to say I am pretty impressed with it. You can see the front part goes in here, and uh, I've got the this thing on to, to hold it, so it'll kind of be held, you know, at this point. And it's it's super uh, thick. It's it's a little higher than maybe it's about the same as the front thing. So that'll be good. I'm gonna put some dog blankets over it and see if he likes it. Casey, come in up. I think somebody likes it. Thank you so much for watching. If you found any value in this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a great comment, share it, and subscribe to my channel for other videos in ranging from RV living, RV renovations, RV maintenance, RV solar, and other happenings. Thank you.